the photography, the light, the kind of color, that was like where I was looking at beauty. That's where I was trying to seduce somebody to look at this person, to look at myself and to find like an unconventional beauty in it by just simple things as far as relating to a photograph or relating to an emotion. My name is Jen Davis um, and we're at the Institute of Humanities Gallery in Ann Arbor, Michigan, part of the University of Michigan. The show is about that span of time, 11 years of work that I made, about the body, about myself, um, looking at insecurities and vulnerabilities of, of, of a young woman kind of coming of age or having these large questions that she had about society and using the camera to answer questions or to facilitate kind of a dialogue with with the self. When I began the work, it was just trying to have a voice, trying to find my voice, and I, I just had photography, you know, that was what I had. You know, when I started to make the work, I was so young, you know, I was like 22 years old, I think, 23, just, and I was like so naive, and I didn't have a backbone, you know, I had, I had it in my life and growing up and friends and, you know, family and whatnot, but it felt like I was always searching for myself, I was always searching for my identity. So when I started making the work too, it was just this really honest dialogue that started to happen with, with myself. And, and as the kind of evolution happened and I started to kind of make, take more risks in the work or ask deeper questions or realize that the camera became this vehicle for exploration where if I wanted to see something or if I wanted to do something, have a certain experience, it can be authored through a photograph. And it became more about reflection for me. It became more about making a photograph having this insecurity, photographing what that felt like, and being able to kind of release it into the work or into the world. So there's this constant shift between self that was happening in, in those moments of making the pictures. And when I think about the process of making the work, it was always like I was in this trance almost in a way. I think that people can see themselves in it. It can be more uh, universal than than just one story or one body or one person. I don't know, I didn't want to be seen as like this poster child or not, but someone like held up to this regard of, of being brave and that was it, you know, because I'm naked or I'm showing a part of my body that's brave. I didn't, I didn't want that to be like the stopping point and I didn't think, I don't think that the work is just about the body either. That's a big part of it, but it's more about like sexuality and it's more about relationships to self, relationships to the world and men too. As I began to look at the work and think about it where I felt that if I was going to take these chances or if I was going to make this work like I had to be able to talk about it too. Like I felt like it was a disservice to the work or to myself just to make it and, and, and then if it was up not be able to discuss it or not to be able to discuss the feelings that I was having while making it. <laughs> 